Okay. okay. So we're rolling. Whatever oh, you guys oh. are. <laughs> uh, I didn't. Keep okay. Going. <clears throat> okay. So you know, one thing we're always asked is how to prevent wrinkles. What, what can we do every day to kind of prevent wrinkles around the eye and crow's feet? Right. So around the eye area, it's basically a matter of folding that skin over and over again. You're creasing your skin like you would a piece of paper. The more times you fold it, the deeper the line's going to get. It's as simple as that. So um, to prevent that, you basically, if you need vision correction, wear your contacts, wear your glasses so you're not squinting at things far away. And if it's a sunny, glary day, wear your sunglasses so you're not um, squinting into the sun. But also importantly, you want to make sure you're using a moisturizer that hydrates the skin, keeps it supple so you can fold it and it won't wrinkle. If you're going to come into the office, I can shoot you up with some uh, nice Botox or Dysport Azeumin, and but basically what that does is it relaxes that muscle so you can't fold that piece of skin over and over again. So it's that repetitive motion. That right. Kind of and that's for all of your wrinkles, the dynamic face lines, your frown lines, your forehead lines. It's as you fold it, as you express yourself, you're creasing your skin more and more. Um, what about um, you know, applying eye cream? What's, what's kind of everybody always wants to know where do you go? Do you go too far in? Right. So you don't want to get right on the highway. too what's far the in. Um, so the way that uh, I like to tell people to do it, you should always warm up your eye cream on your skin. It's going to make it a little less viscous, a little more fluid, easier for you to put on without pulling at your skin. It should be put on with a padding motion um, along the orbital bone, kind of inside out, and you don't want to rub it in. I tell people to stay where they have bone underneath their finger because if they're getting too close to the, uh, the orbit of the eye, they might get some into your eye and then you cause some irritation tearing and redness of the eye. So just stay to the bone and make sure you're patting it on instead of rubbing it. Um, and now does it go all the way around? So most people are concerned about their lower eyelid, but you can okay. also put it along your brow bone. Um, again, staying to the bone and not so much on the eyeball itself. Okay. Okay. And always the question we're always asked is when do I start eye cream? Right. And it's the same thing as sunscreen. The earlier, the better. The more that you can do to prevent um, damage to your skin, the aging process. Keeping your skin nice and thick and plump and supple is better than letting all these deteriorating signs of aging build up and then start the eye cream. So I'd say even in your early 20s, if you're susceptible, especially if you're very fair skin, you should be using a dedicated eye cream. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Pleasure. Thank you. Nice.